Hey everyone, it's Coach Kim here. I'm going to talk about how to flash buffer. The reason why I'm talking about this, even though it's pretty common nowadays, is that I still see people not doing it, whether it's because they don't know that their champion can do it, or they just don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show you how it's done and why you should do it. So, for example, we have a champion like Silas, right? This applies to any champion that can do it, and pretty much every champion in the game has some sort of flash buffer. So this will be applicable to all champions. Just for this demonstration, I'm going to be doing it on Silas. So, for example, right? Let's say you want to flash in range and then get a W off, right? A lot of players are going to do flash W like this, right? You can see the flash animation, and then you can see the W go off, right? And I'm pressing W as fast as I can right when the flash goes off. And you can see after the flash, Silas stops for a brief moment to activate W, right? So the thing with W flashing instead of flash W is that when you press W, as Silas, for example, or maybe your Alistar or Diana, right? You're doing like your dash. When you press your ability on the enemy, your champ's going to walk towards them, right? And then once they get in range, it's going to automatically use the W. So the thing with W flash instead of flash W is when you do flash W, you're flashing and then you're pressing W, right? But when you're doing W flash, your character is automatically targeting them so that once you flash in range, your character will automatically do it for you. So you don't have to do it yourself. This saves like a couple frames of animations so that you could do it in one smooth motion. So I'm going to show you what flash W looks like again. He like flashes and then he stops to W. But if you do W flash, it's all in one motion. And then, well, this part is Silas specific, but you can even add your E to it. So instead of doing like E flash W, you can do E W flash. So you can do like one smooth engage from like this distance. And yeah, that's all I got to show for today. Hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching.